Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys doing today? Well, it is 5.15 p.m. and I am vlogging really early today. I have my meeting. Um, I have to pick up Tanya at 7.30 and our meeting is at 8. So I'm gonna start getting ready at 6.30. And I thought, well, I got everything else done today. <laughs> so um, I think I'm going to vlog for a little bit. So I'm just driving around. I was listening to my audiobook. It's a rainy, cold day in Indianapolis. It is 45 degrees. <clears throat> I think it was 45 or 46 when I was vlogging uh, this afternoon, earlier today. So, it really hasn't gotten any warmer out. I just saw my neighbor. She was taking her dog out for a walk. And she was like, what is this weather? It is so cold. So, anyway. Um, yeah, after I vlogged today, I did a booktube video. And then I... Um, what did I do after that? Oh, then I went home and I did a drama video and a Peter Rosemus video and I got those up and my vlog from earlier today is um, uploading as we speak as is my Peter Rosemus video and I'm gonna go home in just a little bit and um, finish those and get those up. I think I'm gonna go through Starbucks. Oh shoot, there's a, I always forget. So there's a Starbucks right here and then they moved to a different building, which is like right next door. So this Starbucks, I don't even know what they're gonna do with. It looks like nothing. But I got a flat white earlier, a grande, and I long went through that. So I'm gonna get a coffee to, that I can have now while I'm vlogging and also that I can take to the meeting with me. So let me, well maybe I'll just get a grande now and then when I pick up Tanya, she and I can go get another coffee. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I don't know if it's this one, if it's up there where I order it. I think it's here. Welcome to Starbucks. How can we get started for you? Can I get a uh, grande flat white with one Splenda, please? Absolutely. Anything else we can get for you? Nope, that's it. All right. Thank you. Um, I feel like I have listened to so many audiobooks lately that I am like really struggling like staying listening to one like I was listening to my one death overdue and I was kind of like I would rather just download a bunch of music I actually have downloaded so much music lately I downloaded if, if you leave me now you take away the biggest part of me by Chicago zombie by Miley Cyrus treat you better a remix from Rufus to soul I love that song so much although it reminds me of pee, -pee and then it makes me sad um, Burn by the Love by Juke Ross. Um, I downloaded two songs by Weezer. They did a, uh, like a re, like they redid songs. What's that called? Cover songs. They did like a cover album. I loved Weezer back in the day, that holiday song. Oh, I should download that. Um, they did Sweet Dreams are Made of This by the Eurythmics and then Take On Me by Aha. I downloaded those two songs. God is a Dancer by Tiesto and Mabel. Is This Love by Bomb Barley and the Wailers. It's a remix. Poseidon uh, by Federico, Federico Scavo. It's like this dance music song. I love it. Um, Dancing in the Moon by Jubel. I love that too. Instagram. That's kind of an old song. Um, with Afrojack and Dimitri Vegas. Um, another mix of Treat You Better by Rufus to Soul. Stevie Nicks' new song, Show Them the Way. Yeah, and that's everything I've downloaded recently. I love to download music. I know, my husband is like obsessed with Apple Music right now. And um, like he used to use Spotify. My brother-in-law got him using Spotify. But like, I like just like downloading the songs and having them downloaded. So I've been wanting to listen to music lately though and just like kind of like drive around and dance and stuff instead of um, listening to my audiobook. But I really want to finish this audiobook so I can get another one done before the week is over of Halloween, or of October. So. If you leave me now. Hey, how are you? Good, your hair wrap is so cute. Oh, thank you. 
Thank you so much. Have a good day. She's such a cute little hair wrap. It was like tied up and like knotted in front. It looks so cute. Um, did you ever get songs stuck in your head? I don't know why, but the other day, um, when we were coming back, I had that Chicago song stuck in my head, and I kept on singing it, and I said to Alex, I said, do you know that song? And he goes, no. I go, you don't know what that song is? I swore it was, like, by Barry Gibb or something, and I, like, Googled it, and I was like, oh, it's by, um, it's by Chicago. <laughs> I forgot all about Chicago. I actually saw Chicago in concert one year. I mean, I didn't purposely go to see Chicago. We went to go see James Taylor. I used to be a huge, huge, huge James Taylor fan. I still love James Taylor's music, but I probably wouldn't pay to go see him in concert. But you know when you're younger, you go like, you pay to go see anybody in concert, and then you get there like an hour before it starts, and you stay like an hour afterwards. Yeah, that was me. No more. You know when you're getting older when it's like they're about to play like their last three songs, and you're like, should we leave now to beat the traffic? <laughs> that started happening to me like in my mid-30s, and then I just was like, and then like it really takes a lot for me to want to go to like a concert today here in Indianapolis. Like, you know, going out of town to like a music festival is a different story, but Especially with like Uber today when you can just like Uber and then you wait for your Uber and then you're like out of there. But like, well in Miami it's kind of different too because everybody knows how to take side streets. So it takes 20 minutes to get home from wherever. But um, like for Ultra Music Festival. But back in the day, oh my God, we would get stuck in such traffic on the way home. But that was always kind of like some of the fun too. And then we would go eat at like Steak and Shake or Denny's or something like that. But I just don't have it in me anymore. It's like, I really, I think about like the concert that I'm going to and I'm like, is it really worth me sitting in two hours of traffic? Like, do I really want to see this person that bad? And then I'm like, no, I'll wait. And I, can, I can't think of like who, but there's been so many people where it's like, if I don't see them now, I'll probably never see them in my life. And then I'm like, do I really care? Like a couple years ago, I think it was Madonna's last tour. One of my friends wanted me to go to Chicago and she was like, I'll buy the tickets because she wanted to go. She was like, I'll buy the tickets. And they were expensive. They were like $300. And I was like, I don't know that I want to, I didn't go. I was like, I don't know that I want to go to Chicago, drive all the way to Chicago. I'm not, I mean, I love Madonna. Don't get me wrong, but I don't really like her personality today. I started following her on Twitter recently. You guys, she's kind of turned into a weirdo a little bit. Like, I mean, not that she wasn't always, but I don't know. For a long time, there was like, Madonna was like so artsy and edgy, and she's always like, I don't know, like, I still like her music, but like she's trying to prove a point or something, like, but man, I'll tell you, she looks incredible for her age, doesn't she? Her daughter, Lourdes, is beautiful, too. <laughs> I think they own, like, I googled Lourdes not too long ago, and she owns, like, a fashion brand with her mom or something. I didn't know anything about that. This coffee is so good. You know, I always drink iced coffee, and then all of a sudden I kind of switch, and I've been drinking hot coffee since I've been back, well, the last two days since I've been back, but, well, where were we? When Alex was like, do you want a coffee oh, at the airport? And he was like, do you want, I'm going to go to Starbucks. I was like, yeah, I want a, a flat white. And he was like, hot or iced? And I was like, hot. Oh, my neck is kind of hurting today. I think I slept too much last night. It's a dreary day in Indianapolis. I can't believe I got everything that I wanted to get done today so quickly. It just was like boom, 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 boom. I just like rushed right through it. I couldn't believe it. The dogs are so tired from having been at the kennel. We call the kennel the hotel. From having been at the hotel for the last week, you know, they're so tired. And um, they're so hoarse because they've been barking so much. It's kind of funny. Like Tucker was barking at me. Um, when I like let them out earlier, he was like, arr, arr, and his little voice is his little his voice, his little bark is like, arr, arr, arr. it's like you can tell he's been barking so much. So I gotta go home and then feed them. And then oh, I'll show some of the things I've got um, in the mail when I get home. And then I need to start getting ready for my meeting. You 
leave me now. <laughs> Why do songs get, I don't, and I didn't hear it anywhere. That's the other thing. Like, I didn't hear it anywhere. Um, uh, I won't let this person through. Can they get through? They can't get through. I'm sorry. I was trying to let you through. Um, but I don't know where that song, it's like songs get in my head, get stuck in my head all the time. Like that. And I, then I end up downloading them like that dream, 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 dream. When I love you. you know, I was singing that on here for a long time and I downloaded that. And then because I, I sang it so much in my vlog, I downloaded that. Oh, Donna. Oh, Donna. I knew a girl and Donna. What's her name? Oh man. There's a lot of traffic today everywhere that I've gone. I've been like kind of stuck in traffic all day. And this light is killing. It only lets like two or three people go through at a time. But you know what? I'm not in any hurry to go anywhere. So. Do you know those little Fiat's Countryman? Is that what they're called? The only time I've ever thought, I mean, they're kind of cute little cars, but like the only time I've ever really, really liked them was in that movie. Did you see that movie, The Italian Job? Oh, I love that movie so much. Was that with, with Charlize Theron in the movie? I like her. There's a Tesla in front of me. I'm not real thrown out with Teslas. I'm sure they're absolutely amazing inside, but it's like, I don't, like for the price that they are, I just don't think that they're that cool of a car. I actually had always wanted a Range Rover. And um, my dad actually drives a Range Rover. He's had it forever. <clears throat> he actually got it the year that my, like the month that my mom passed away, like the week before or something like that. He was like, yeah, my mom was, Maybe it was like right after she died, he went and got it. Because I can remember he pulled up to the funeral home and I was like, did you get a new car? And he said something, it had something to do, he had wanted a Range Rover for a while and he was like, yeah, he was like, <clears throat> yeah, he must have gotten it like right after my mom died because he said something like, <clears throat> your mom being so sick or your mom dying or something made me realize that if there's something I want, I should go get it. And he's had it ever since, but my dad like hardly ever drives anywhere, so. I'm sure it has probably 20,000 miles on it and he's had it 12 years, you know? But today when I was going through Starbucks, there was, um, or when I was coming back out to leave after I'd done my review, there was a Range Rover in front of me. It was like this black Range Rover. It was like one of their, I'm sure it's beautiful inside, like I said. But I was like, oh, look at that. I was like, when I first looked at it, I was like, I couldn't see where it said Range Rover in the back. And I was like, look at that Dodge. That Dodge is like... <laughs> It's a cute car. Like, I would like that. And then I was like, oh, it's a Range Rover. Now there's a CX-30. I don't know what kind of car that is in front of me. Do you guys watch the cars around you? I think there's a Cherokee behind me. I like my Cherokee. It's a smooth ride. Oh, a Jeep Wrangler just passed me. Alex said you're supposed to do something like with Jeep Wranglers, like you're supposed to wave to them or something. Do you guys know about all that? I don't know about all that. I have a feeling in Indianapolis, we're gonna go straight. <clears throat> oh, it's Valerini. I'll be right back, it's Valerini. Okay, I'm back. We were just catching up. <clears throat> Just catching up. Oh, look, they have their house all decorated for Halloween. Halloweener. <laughs> Halloweeny. I've told this on here before, but my friend gave me a card years and God, it was probably 25 years ago now. He, uh, oh, I bet it was. He sent me a Halloween card and it said happy, it was like a, a dachshund on the front of it. You know, they call them wiener dogs. And it said, happy Halloweener. <laughs> and I still always remember that. Look at the leaves are kind of pretty though, aren't they? Anyway, everybody's talking about the weather. I mean, if it's 45 now, it's gonna be in the 30s tonight. I ordered these two, okay, so Andy Cohen, I follow his uh, Instagram, <clears throat> and he had this tie-dye shirt on. It was a picture, if you go to his uh, Instagram, it was a picture from 
of him and he's playing like swords with his kid, his son. And he has on this tie-dye long sleeve shirt on it. And it's the lyrics to Ripple, which is probably one of my all-time favorite um, Grateful Dead songs. Have you ever seen the movie Mask with Cher? Oh my God, at the very end when Rocky dies. And then she's like putting the pegs in the map. And she's like, now you can go wherever you want. Because he kept a map of all the places he had gone. And she was like, or of all the places he wanted to go or something. And she's like, now you can go anywhere in the world that you want to go. In the background, the song Ripple is playing. It's like, I love that song so much. But anyway, so I saw this shirt. And it's like one of the best tie-dye shirts I've ever seen in my life. And I was like, oh my God, I want this shirt so bad. So I got online and or he had tagged it and it was called it was this company called online ceramics <clears throat> so i went to their website and they are like like they make each shirt individually and they only have like as many shirts as they make and then they're gone like that shirt is not even on their website anymore like it was for a while but now it's gone and when it's sold out they don't make them anymore so I ordered two other shirts, not to mention they're expensive. I think they're like 60 or 80 bucks, they're expensive. And it was actually one night after I was vlogging and I was sitting like, I parked the car on the street and I was sitting there and I was like, I'm just gonna get these shirts. I've been wanting to get these shirts for a while now. So I ordered them and a, a while ago, like a month and a half ago, and they came to, cause they say like when you order them that it takes a while cause they make, make each shirt individually. So the shirts came in the mail today. I'll show them later on the vlog. But um, I got an extra, I got one in an extra large and the other one in a 2XL because I was like, I'm a 2XL right now. And I was like, I don't want to get, usually if I order something in an XL, it'll come and it's like really traditional fit and it's really small. And I was like, well, I want to be able to wear one of them now. Okay, the extra large is huge on me. And the 2XL is like, I don't even know. I don't even know who I'm gonna give it to because it's like super, super large. And it's not even a t-shirt that would be comfortable just to like wear around the house and go to bed in. It's like really big. So I ordered the wrong sizes and I'm, I'm not gonna send it back, but, but now I'm like, okay, now that I know that I probably wear a large in their, in their brand, um, I can, and they're really nice shirts too, and the quality is fantastic, and the tie-dyeing on them is amazing, I and mean, they look like individual tie-dyed shirts, which they are. I was like, oh my God, now there's like so many more that I can order on there, because I didn't know my size before, so that's exciting, but anyway. You'd think on a day like this, I could be really like into listening to my audiobook, but I just can't get into it for some reason. I'm gonna go up here and turn around. I don't wanna be in a rush tonight, so I'm gonna go up here. I'll probably get home then at about six and then feed the dogs and then vlog the stuff that I got and then start getting ready right at 6.30, which means I can leave the house at seven, pick up Tanya about 7.15. Yeah, that'll be perfect. Oh, it is so pretty over there though. It's like the colors of the trees aren't the same as they used to, but it is still so pretty. I don't know if you can see it way over there, but. Isn't that pretty? They still haven't cut down all of the, the corn yet. The corn is as high as an elephant's eye. I need to call my cousin Caroline about chili dinner on Halloween. See if she needs me to bring anything. I also need to see if Melissa needs me to bring anything. <clears throat> I did call Melissa earlier today though because we were supposed to do this review together sometime this week of these Halloween collectibles. Maybe tomorrow we'll do that, tomorrow or Thursday. I think she said Wednesdays are good for her usually. I also have all this dog food for her because we bought this dog food. Well, I bought this dog food. I bought a ton of it at PetSmart. And I'm sure I could probably return it. But we have like 18 cans of it. Well, I didn't look. And it's puppy dog food. I thought it was because like the can, how the can looked. I thought it was the what we use. Well, I put it down not even looking at the can or anything for the dogs. This was like a month ago. And um, they wouldn't eat it. And Alex said, I think you bought the wrong kind of food. Um, and 
And so I looked on the can, and I, like at first I was like, no, it doesn't look like the wrong food to me. It looks like the same can. And then I was like reading it closer. I thought the label was maybe a little bit different, but I couldn't tell. And it said puppy food. And I was like, ugh. It, th when I opened the can, the can was like, like the, because we get them the pate stuff. I hate having the dogs eat wet food anyway. They ate hard food forever until Pee-Pee's teeth were really bad. And then the vet was like, I want you to put him on wet food. And I was like, okay, but he's gonna wanna eat the hard food. And then she said, what, well, just change, they're all, she's like, their teeth are, none of their teeth are good. She was like, just change them all to wet food. So we did. And um, it was just hard, regular hard dog food is so much easier, isn't it? So, um, but anyway, what was I gonna say? I can't even remember what I was gonna say now. Oh, so anyway, they eat like this pate and it's like pretty like hard, like firm. Like we cut it up into little pieces and stuff. They love it. And uh, like we put it on a plate and we, we've seen it on here before. They like, we cut it up into little pieces so that they can eat it, which they could eat it anyway. But um, it just like makes it easier that way for them. So when I got this new pate that was the puppy stuff, I did notice it was like mushy. And I was like, is something wrong with it? Like, is that why they don't like it? Because it was like mushy, it wasn't like the pate. And then I was like, oh, it's puppy food. So I was gonna give it to Tanya for the kennel, but she said they feed the dogs their hard food unless people like bring their own food, because like we always bring our own food there. And so she's like, I, Peter, I wouldn't use it in all honesty. And um, I was like, okay. I think she was like, we don't get that many dogs that are like, they, it was like for really early puppies, like really young puppies. I don't know how I got the wrong food, how I was so stupid. I literally ran in there and bought it and then came out. <clears throat> so anyway, um, so I, uh, was talking to Melissa and I was like, cause you know, Melissa, this um, one rescue that she works for, they like um, give food and like anything to do with dogs for people that are like low income, like they don't have the money for it, like food and toys and beds and treats and things like that. It's like, it's like a um, food shelter, but for dogs and pets, like cats. And so I was like, would you guys take these? And she was like, oh, absolutely we would. Um, so I need, I've had those on the counter. Well, they were sitting on the stove for like a month now and I've got to take those over to her. So when I see her, whether, unless it's be Halloween, I don't see her till then, then I'm going to take those. But she got these things in the mail and we wanted to do this review because the review is really about Halloween, if that makes sense. So there you go. Can you even believe it's almost November? Like, I can't believe it's almost November. When I was doing my Peterisms video today, I was like, God, it's October 27th already. Like, I can't believe that the year is almost over. It just seems crazy to me. Oh, man. I wonder if it's gonna rain harder tonight. Alex is going to this Schitt's Creek. Um, I was gonna go with him, but since I have my meeting tonight, I'm not gonna go. He's going to the Schitt's Creek uh, trivia night thing at some restaurant. And it's like, you have to have a table for four. And his friend told him about it. So he's going with Sarah and two other friends and they got a table. And he's real excited about that because you know he loves his Shit's Creek. He started watching Shit's Creek again when we were in Florida. And one night I laid there and I watched the, the episode. I love that episode when uh, it's, uh, why can't I think of his name? Rose, the dad. Shoot, why can't I think of his name? But Moira, whatever his name is, it's their anniversary and, it, and they end up at that restaurant and their old friends show up. I love that episode. It's one of my favorite episodes ever with what he says at the end. And then they go and they all dance in that barn at um, the party. What's that guy's name? I can't think of any of those people's name on the show anymore. David, Alexis, Moira, 
why can't I think of what's his name Rose Bob it's not Bob Rose what's his name I can't believe I've forgotten anyway Alex also watched the interview the David Letterman interviews um, well he has a new show called something about the last interview or the first, I don't know, some interview show. And he interviewed Kim Kardashian and I watched that one. That was really interesting. It was a really, she actually is an interesting interview. Um, I think if, I think people think of Kim Kardashian as really stupid, you know, and she's obviously not. Um, but she was really well-spoken in that. And hearing the part where she was like, um, you know, held a gunpoint in Paris and stuff, like that was really hard to watch. Anyway, talking about that, her talking about the ending of the show and stuff and why they made that decision and all that stuff is interesting. Um, but it's so funny watching David Letterman. You know, I grew up watching David Letterman late at night and some of my favorite interviews, Amy Sedaris and Sandra Bernhardt, uh, Sandra Bernhardt, I guess people call her, I call her Sandra. But anyway, um, those are like two people. Sandra and Madonna came out. Y'all remember that one? Whenever I say, it's a lip thing, that's from Sandra Bernhardt. She was she used to do interviews with him all the time. Her interviews on David Letterman, you can see them all on YouTube. They're fantastic. And Amy Sedaris on the Johnny Carson Show and on David Letterman. Amy Sedaris is just, like, such a creative genius. I love her. And um, I don't really think of myself as a comedian. I think I, like, try to be funny in my videos and stuff like that. But if I ever said that I pulled inspiration, I would definitely say, like, Sandra Bernhardt, Amy Sedaris, Carol Burnett. Like, I just, I just love them so much. They're people that just, they inspire me in life anyway. <clears throat> I used to have, um, Without You, I'm Nothing, which was Sandra Bernhardt's one woman show. I used to have the tape and I knew every word on that entire cassette tape. I would drive my friends crazy back in the day. I knew like literally every word to it and I would play it all the time. Um, I also loved Queens of Comedy. Monique was on that and S'more and who else was on there? Um, God, they were so funny. I had that DVD and I had that CD for a long time too that I would listen to it in my car. I'm sure I have it in my basement somewhere. <laughs> I'm sure. Um, loved that show. I guess I'm not going to get home right at 6 o'clock. It looks like I'm going to get... I'm trying to think of which way is faster. If I do, like, go through the post office. If I go this way, I have a feeling I'm going to get stuck in traffic, but we're going to try it. It's a lip thing. But anyway, watching David Letterman is so funny. I remember my mom loved watching David Letterman and I've talked about this on here before. So David Letterman is from Indianapolis. He went to Broderpool High School and my mom went to high school and she was really good friends. David Letterman would have been like a freshman when my mom was a senior. And um, my mom was really good friends with David Letterman's sister in high school, like good, good friends. Like that was like one of her three or four closest friends. And she would say, I can remember when I would go pick her up, like, you know, on Friday or Saturday nights to go out and hang out with the boys and stuff. She said we would like come into the living room and David would be like on the floor with his friends like watching TV. She was like he was such a nerd and stuff. But she was like he was so nice and so sweet in high school. And then um, my mom went with a friend of hers, David Letterman, like I don't know if he wrote a book or what he did, something. But she went to this like book signing or some signing kind of thing at Ball State because he went to Ball State and studied communications there. And so they went up there and when it got to her in line or something, she's like, you probably don't remember me, but he was like, oh my God, yes I do. And he like knew who she was and he said some story and all this kind of stuff. Isn't that so funny? from and um, every year they have the Oktoberfest which is the first weekend in October it's so much fun it's like just like this small little I wouldn't call it like a fair but it has like a fair feeling to it they have like a cakewalk and they have rides and stuff like that but like the whole little downtown part of Seymour is where they have it and um, you 
could walk by like they have this like little guitar music shop and sometimes like John Mellencamp would be like sitting out there like playing just with like the local people and stuff I think he for a long time he lived in Bloomington Indiana I don't know if he still does or not like by on Lake Monroe I think is where he lived which is beautiful down there of what celebrities I've actually like met in person. Jay Leno at Fridays for race day weekend one year. Oh, uh, race day weekend makes me think of Jay Leno <clears throat> was rude. Very, very rude to me and my friends. That was like God when I was younger though. Um, Cause like race day weekend cause we have the Indy 500 here. Although we didn't have it this year, but it's like a big, did, do we end up having it in August? Oh, they ended up having it. But they ended up not like, they only had like a limited amount of people there in the, uh, the audience or whatever you call it that could buy tickets. Um, one of my friends went up, went up to Jay Leno and tried to like get his autograph or say hi to him or something like that and he wasn't having it. And then for, we went to the Direct TV party. <clears throat> we actually got to help put the list together. They reached out to us um, of like people in Indianapolis. So, we went to the Direct TV Super Bowl party when the Super Bowl was here. We got to go to all those parties. That was really fun. And um, we went to like the Maxim party and the leather, is it the leather and lace party? I think that might be it. There was like a play, I think there was like a Playboy party. There's like six big parties. But anyway, the Direct TV party was like the party. And Katy Perry performed live at it. And we were standing right next to um, Neil Patrick Harris and his husband who was like hitting we were walking downtown to go to this other club and they were like on the other side of the street and his husband was like shouting stuff I thought he was hitting on my husband Alex would be like no he was and I was like yeah he was but anyway I remember I had these painful painful shoes on imagine that and I had my ankles out of them we were walking it was like winter time and we were walking with our friends this other couple it's actually our attorney and his wife and we were walking with them to like this club that was like three blocks away and they were like on the other side and they were like saying stuff to well his husband was saying stuff to Alex but anyway they were actually really friendly <laughs> in person they were they were really friendly in person um, and who else did we meet from during that thing there were a lot of celebrities at that party. Um, this guy that was in that TV show, Revenge, like, I don't, he was really good looking. I don't know who he was. Alex knew who he was. Um, there were a couple other people here. I always either don't know who the person is or I get very nervous. Like, I said in a video not too long ago that I met, like, Wow at this party, and I said she was really short. And then a bunch of people commented on it, and they said, she's not short, she's tall. And I said something to Alex, I said, do you remember that night? And he goes, it was Snooky, it wasn't Wow. And I go, what? And he goes, yeah, it was Snooky, it wasn't Wow. And I go, no, I'm almost positive it was Wow. And he was like, no, he was like, it was, he goes, he knew exactly what I was talking about. And I was like, well, that would make sense why she was really short. Oh, Ariana Grande, we saw her. She was like 10 feet away from us at Ultra Music Festival. We saw a lot, of, you see a lot of celebrities at um, Ultra Music Festival. Who's that YouTuber girl? Alex knows who she is. Oh, Lele Pons. She's always with tons of people. She was with Paris Hilton, actually, the last time that we went. And Paris Hilton, we saw at that thing. Brian boy, who he's like a huge TikToker now. We hung out with him. It's so funny because like he does all these TikToks about like people that are really like rich and all this kind of stuff. And he was like, I, I saw it like a tweet that he put out and he's like, rich people don't shop at H&M or something like that. Or that's a poor people's store or something like that. His whole TikTok is built around this whole thing of him being like really rich and whatever. But he totally wasn't like that in person at all. He was so nice and so humble. And I can remember I asked him, I said something about, cause he's like, you know, this fashion, a guru kind of person and like um mark jacobs made a bag after him called like the brian boy bag and um he's 
good friends with Anna Wintour and all from Vogue and all this kind of stuff. And we like, I sent him a message and he was like, yeah, let's meet up tomorrow. And that whole day we hung out. We just like danced together. It was so much fun. And all three of us. And I remember at one point we were sitting there and I asked him, I said, what do you think about like all these different like, like people come really like dressed crazy, you know, at music festivals. And he's like, I love it. He was like, you know, he was like, People think that fashion is just like a brand or whatever, you know, and their newest line out. He was like, but fashion's really like how you feel inside. And a lot of these people don't get to express how they feel inside, you know, every day because they're working or they're going to school or whatever. And he's like, I think it's so cool that they are actually getting to express like how they really, really feel. So anyway, who else do we see? A couple, we saw some famous, who else do we see at Ultra Music Festival? Well, I mean, all the DJs we would see. Not like just on stage, but like walking around and stuff like that. Who else? That River, I don't know how to pronounce his last name. Vipery, I think his name is. He, well, I saw him. He is super tall. He um, dates Paris Hilton, or he dated Paris Hilton. He's still a model. He was there one year. And um, he... I started following him on Twitter. He follows me too on Twitter. I don't know why. Oh, there's my husband. I'll be right back. I guess I'm super important since all of my people are calling me today. Valerini and Alex and everybody else. He was like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm not just vlogging right now. I'm getting ready to go home and feed the dogs. It's 6.01 right now, so. Anyway, get my lip balm out. It's a lip thing. I should put on some lip gloss. I haven't put on lip gloss in a while. Yeah, so I guess that's like the famous people I've met or seen. I am so truly though that like super fan kind of person. Like, I always, like, whenever I see somebody, I'm like, oh, my God, there you, do you see who that is? Alex is, like, so, he's, like, yeah. <laughs> I'm, like, do you see who it is? Oh, my God. I feel like there's somebody else, and I can't remember. The thing that's funny is, other than, like, Jay Leno, people are always just, like, really normal and relaxed, and you can tell, like, they're just, like, having fun doing their thing, like, you know. What's funny to me is, like, when I will talk to people, like YouTube, this has been weird with YouTube. <clears throat> like, I remember the first time, so, you know, a couple people commented on my uh, vlog channel and they said, Wes from Highfalutin Carb, uh, or Low, high, no, it's Highfalutin Carb, Highfalutin Low Carb. He said, they said, oh, Wes moved to Indianapolis. Well, I'd never heard of his YouTube channel before. So I went and I started watching his videos and I watch all of his videos now, right? So I remember the first time that we talked on the phone and he was so funny. He was like, um, like I, he like answered the phone because I had like, we were texting and I said, can you talk on the phone? He was like, yeah, sure. So, because he lives in Indianapolis now with his husband and he was like, um, he was like, uh, how's the drama drama phone? And I was like, you are so funny. And we were talking, I was like, this is so nerve wracking. Like, I feel like, like I'm talking to a celebrity on the phone. He goes, you're so silly. Why are you, why are you acting that way? But, um, like anytime that I've ever talked to like a YouTuber who's like videos that I've watched or whatever, like I always get like real nervous. Like the first time I talk to them, cause it just, it feels like it, it's weird, you know, or like if like, let's just say if I like open like my DMS and I get a message from somebody that's like just some, you know, YouTuber that's out there or somebody comments or something like, I am so like that, that fan person, you know, that like fans out over like just, you know, anyway. Like, even when we went to um, that restaurant, Tom Tom, that Lisa Vanderpump restaurant, like, Alex was like, that so-and-so is, like, Peter, the manager. And I go, who? Which one? And I don't even watch that show regularly. I was all like, which one? Which one? <laughs> I'm trying to think of, like, who I would... Like, I remember back in the day, my old roommate, 
she moved to Los Angeles and she met RuPaul at the Los Angeles like Pride Parade and she was she was like I couldn't even speak I was like speechless or something I can't remember what she said but anyway I don't know who I would meet that I would be like that like I'm not as much like that today as I used to be where I just feel like that tree is so gorgeous so pretty I wish I got that on camera we're too far past it now but um it was like the whole thing was orange and all the leaves underneath it were orange and stuff. Do you guys see these trees right here? They're so pretty, aren't they? But anyway, I don't even know who I would be like that with. Probably Stevie Nicks. Obviously, if I met Stevie Nicks, I'd be like... <gasps> I mean, definitely Whitney Houston when she was alive. Who else? Oh, Julia Roberts. Oh my God, I love Julia Roberts. I would lose it if I met her. This was like having a conversation. Oprah. Ah! Oprah, I would die. Put in the comment section below who's like a celebrity that if you met him, like you just almost couldn't even talk. I don't know who else. took my love and I took it down. I feel like with Stevie Nicks, it's like her music, and not just like her music, but Fleetwood Mac's music too, but it's mostly her voice, you know? Like her music, although I, there are a lot, like a lot of her single songs that she did by herself, like the Belladonna album and Nightbird and stuff like that. A lot of those songs are songs that like really got me through like tough times in my life that I listened to. And I almost feel like like Bob Dylan and people like that are such, and Willie Nelson, other people that I listen to, are such like super celebrities. Like, I mean, Stevie Nicks is a super celebrity, but she's also kind of relatable because you see her, like she just did that TikTok or Instagram story or wherever where she was putting on <clears throat> roller, sk roller skates. Like, I love that, right? And she's been in like American Horror Story. I mean, some of those people are like such, such like, like Madonna feels like such a super celebrity to me. That it would be very, like Lady Gaga is like a super celebrity. Like if I met her, it would feel very much just like a meet and greet. Like I can't imagine just like sitting with that person and actually like having a conversation. There's like a meeting a person like and having like a real conversation and then having like a meet, like a meet and greet moment with them. Um, oh my God, my, yeah. Courtney Love and Drew Barrymore way back in the day. That was like so just like meeting somebody randomly. That was at the patio in Indianapolis. Um, with my friend and she was doing a dance off with Courtney Love. That was so fun. <laughs> the guy from Smashing Pumpkins, I met him at Eaton. Who else? Oh, I don't know. I'm like, should I tell this story? The story is so bad. I don't know if I should or not. Well, this was before I got sober. But there was like some, <laughs> this is all just hearsay rumor. So I don't even know how true this was. I didn't believe it at the time. So I'm sure don't believe it now. But there was this guy that was, I met him out at some bar and he was really cute. And um, <sighs> this is one of Peter's, like I didn't have a lot of one night scenes. I truly didn't because I was so drunk that I just really didn't. But I, um, but I met this guy and he was cute. Maybe it was like the next day that I went over to his hotel or something. But anyway, he was here and he was visiting with this traveling, like, uh, what, I know what it is, but I don't want to like say the name in case like, anyway, track back. But it was like a traveling musical that was here in town and he was like the makeup and hair person or something like that. And we hooked up and he had like, but like we like, sat and talked forever and I remember he told me that he had been on like the set of some movie and that he told me he had hooked up with I don't even want to say it it's so embarrassing he said he had hooked up with Johnny Depp I'm like I don't know that I believe this I didn't believe it then and I don't know if I believe it now but that's what he said six degrees of separation though you know what I mean but anyway <laughs> I can't believe the temperature hasn't gone down. Took my love and I took it down. 
climbed the mountain and I turned around. All right, well, I'm almost home, so I'm gonna get off here and then I'm gonna feed the dogs and then I will do a quick show and tell and I'm gonna end the vlog that way so that <clears throat> I can have it rendering and uploaded to go tomorrow. Um, after, so when I go to my meeting, I will have everything done. And um, that way if I fall asleep early tonight, oh God, why does it keep on doing this bean bag? And then tonight I can, um, if I fall asleep, then I know that my vlog is done. So I will be back in um, just a little bit to show you guys the stuff I got at home. Love you, bye. Hello, I'm back. I just fed the dogs and I have dog food all over my hands. So let me clean this up. Put one of their cap things. Do you guys ever do this with the, the dog food? I totally believe in these things. Oh, okay. And then I have to clean up. So I'm gonna put you guys, where am I gonna put you? for just a second. That won't work. Ah, I don't know what cup to put you on. Oh, it doesn't matter here. You're just going to be up there for just a second. High level. Um, oh. I've been like watering all my plants. I watered some of them yesterday. And I'm watering some of them today okay I am using the Mrs. Myers lemon spray clean off the counter all right so let me show you everything that I got recently pull it over here so first of all, I got a Halloween card, and this is from Kathy, so it's a nice little Halloween card, so thank you, Kathy, for that. I really appreciate it. Um, then the next thing that I bought, these are like, I think these are like supposed to be like those Yeezy things, although I don't know, um, but I saw them on Instagram, and I ordered them like, oh, like six weeks ago, and I totally forgot I even ordered them, but they came, okay, they are so stupid looking, you guys, but they are so comfortable. I actually, like, somebody on Instagram had them on, and I asked him where they got, he got them, and he said this thing that I had seen on Instagram, so I ordered them from there, and they're these shoes, okay, they're so stupid looking, but you guys, I have to tell you, they are literally, like, walking on clouds. Did you finish eating all your food, Tucker? Tucker, did you even finish all your, you did. Can you hear, you want to say hi to everybody and show everybody that you look like a little bit of a goat? He said, I think I do. I think I'd like to show everybody how I look. Look at Tucker. I think he looks so sweet. Yeah. Oh, honey, what is it? Did you eat too fast? That's what it is. His little bandana. Look at everybody. Can you say hi? He is so sweet. There you go. He ate all of his food. You did, didn't you? All right, so that was the first thing that I ordered. The next thing are these Grateful Dead t-shirts. Let me show you the 2XL first. Is this the 2XL? This is a 2XL. It's ginormous, you guys. But look at the back of it. So cool. Grateful Dead, Ven uh, Veneta, Oregon, August 27th, 1972. So that's the first one that I got. Whew. And then the second one that I got was running up and down the stairs. This is the extra large, and it says all the years combine a dream, or they melt into a dream. And um, this is what this one looks like. And this is the extra large. It's really big on me, too. I'm actually thinking about maybe wearing this to my meeting tonight. But we'll see. Okay, so that's that. And then these are the things I purchased. These are my new Adidas pink. I'm going to show you how pink they are with the, up against the box. You can see. See? Continental 80s. Aren't those so cool? Those came in the mail. Got those. Oh, shoot. 
Okay, well, um, hold on a second. I think it's Darius and Dexter sent me these. I already started using them today, do you see? This is the Brazilian Bum Bum. I actually, on my drama channel, I linked these already and talked about them. And then she also sent me a caramel macchiato sampler to put in there as well. Wasn't that so cool? And then, okay, this was so sweet. I was talking about this earlier, but I said I couldn't remember the name. And the name is Julia. And Julia sent this beautiful Starbucks mug to me. It says uh, Vancouver on it. I'm gonna wash it in just a second. So hold on, this is how it comes. And it's like so, like I love this. This reminds me of like the old Crate and Barrel mugs. I take off the price tag. What is it, buddy? Hmm? He said, is that a treat, Dad? You just ate, honey. I have such a hard time getting price tags off of stuff. Oh, did I get it? There, got it. So this is the mug, Vancouver. Is that not so, I love that, so beautiful, isn't it? It has all these different things. So many people have sent me these mugs from their cities. I love that. And then she also sent me this um, book, coffee, and candle, evergreen and citrus. Oh my God, it smells so good. I'm gonna put this right over here in our middle where we put all of our candles. So thank you for that, Julia. I really appreciate it. And then I got this in the mail and this is from Amy. And I ha actually haven't opened it yet, but it says on here, um, Cardinal Heart Ornament, which you guys know, Cardinals are the sign for me of my mom. So I'm excited to open this and see what this is. Hold on a second. How do you get this? Take this cover off the top of it. Oh, it's coming. The stuff that it's wrapped in is coming apart. Oh my God, I love this. When a cardinal appears in your yard, it's a visitor from heaven. <gasps> Look at that. Oh my God, I love that so much. I'm actually gonna put it, I'm gonna show you where I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna put this right here. Well, I'm gonna take the tag off first, but I have this like wind chime thing right there that I'm gonna hang it on top of. So let me take off this tag on it. Oh my God, I love that. Come on, tag. There, get it all the way off. Aww. Okay, I was trying to watch Halloween, the original, because I'm trying to watch them all this week, but it wouldn't pull up on cable, I don't know why. Let's go in here and see if it'll work now. Well, who's sitting right there? Well, who is that? Well, hello. <laughs> is he not so cute? Okay. Should we see if Halloween the movie will play now, Tuki? Come on. He said, I think so, Dad. Don't, you wanna say hi to everybody? Hi! Hello! <laughs> okay, let's see. Scary movies. I'm gonna watch this while I'm getting ready. Okay, now they're coming on. Free movies, there it is. Halloween. Restart. <gasps> oh my lord. Is it gonna start for us, Tucker? Oh look, there's Boo Rowley. Come here, Boo Boo, come on. Boo Rowley, you wanna show everybody your half haircut? <laughs> Boo Rowley. Boo. Do you wanna show everybody your half haircut? <laughs> no, Boo Rowley, no. Leave Tucker alone. Come here, Boo Boo, come here. Do you want to show everybody your half haircut? <gasps> he said, see, Dad? Aw. Aw. Are you giving Tucker kisses? <laughs> okay, we're going to watch Halloween now. Let's get it going here in just a second. Move forward. Come on. Get to the music. Here it is. <gasps> oh, my Lord. It's pretty scary. Okay, well, I'm going to pause it. And I'm going to get off here now. I know this is a shorter vlog than usual, but um, I just wanted to have this vlog done for the night. So anyway, I'm going to get off here now and um, 
I think that's it. So thank you guys for watching. Real quick outro tonight. I'm just gonna say, like my friend Stephanie told me to say, I love you guys and uh, be kind to one another. Do something, I can't, see, I can't just do a short outro. Do something nice for somebody. Let them know how much they mean to you. Practice random acts of kindness, but don't tell anyone. You can start your day over whenever you want. Like it says in the four agreements, always lead with love. Put out love, kindness, compassion, goodness, understanding, and forgiveness into the world. And I love you guys so much. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Love ya.